that chili is so spicy. All right, so today we're off to Durham Zade, which is a pretty popular restaurant here in Istanbul. They specialize in Durham kebabs, which are grilled meat skewers. So this place in particular was a focus in Anthony Bourdain's Parts Unknown. And the food looked amazing, so we're gonna go and check it out and see if it is as good as it looked back then 10 years ago. So, can't wait. We're excited, here we go. We found Jordan Zade. Uh, we've arrived. Let's see if there's a table. I think there's a table for us. So let's go and let's uh, get this meat on. We just ordered the mixed platter here. Um, I don't know what it comes with. I think it should be lamb. I think there's lamb involved. Uh, but that's, I can't wait to find out. And I'm excited and hungry. So it looks like he just brought us some salad. It looks like a cabbage salad with cucumber, cabbage, uh, some cilantro possibly and this one is looks to be like an onion cilantro salad with some chili peppers red peppers can we try it let's give it a try mm. Mm -hmm. you definitely taste a lot of the cabbage in it really crunchy the dressing is almost like a balsamic vinegar, vinaigrette. Mmm, it's good. Very much onions. And I gotta have a bite of the grilled chili. Whew. That's a little spicy. <laughs> I can't wait for the meat to come. So that pepper was really spicy. My mouth is on fire. So I hope the meat definitely cools it down. Oh man. Wow. This is a lot of meat for a small platter. So this is just a small. They also have a medium and a large. Wow. So we got chicken wings lamb liver, chicken, and a minced meat kebab, which is called Adana. So I can't wait to yes, dig in. Let's, let's dig in. We got some pita bread as well here. So yeah, let's try this. I think I might take the wing first. Mm, freshly grilled. Super juicy. Wow, it's, it's got to be one of the juiciest chicken wings I've ever had. Really good. I'm gonna taste some of this lamb liver now. Mm. Lamb liver is really good. Really, really tasty. It's cooked perfect to perfection. You can see the spice on it is really good. Really hot. Mm. And I think the Adana. I'm supposed to eat with the pita bread. So I'm gonna try it. So tasty. Mm. It's really, really soft meat, the Adana. Mm. 
And you can see here too, they place all the meat on the bed of flatbread as well. So that's gonna be really tasty because it's soaking up all the juices from the meat. The cold salad really complements the hot meat well. The spices all over the meat. The cold salad really acts as a crunchy alternative to the salty meat. And we found out that the flatbread that's laying on the below the meat, they use it to mop up the grill uh, after they cook the meat. So it's super tasty and more flavorful than just your normal piece of flatbread that, that they give you here. Mm. So there's a ton of food on this platter. This is only the small. So for the small mixed grill, it's only 125 lira, which is less than $20 Canadian. So it's such a good deal. You can definitely feed two people, possibly even three, and be super full. A really tasty piece of the lamb liver. There's lamb fat attached to the piece of the liver as well. So it gives it that nice fat taste to the liver as well. Mm. The Adana is really, really good. It's like a minced meat kebab patty. I gotta say, that's my favorite thing on this platter. Chicken wing is super juicy, but the Adana, I think, takes the cake. Mm. And that is what they're famous for. Honestly, this platter could feed more than two people. I think three people would be okay. I can only imagine what the medium and large platters look like. They could definitely feed a family, I'm sure. So we managed to finish the full platter. It's a lot of food, a lot of meat. So full, but we can't leave here without trying the famous Adana Durdum. So we're gonna order the wrap now and see what it tastes like. The Adana Dorum just arrived. Take a look at it. it. Looks like it's pretty filled. Compared to other Donair wraps that we've seen, I think uh, this one looks a little bit more filled. So let's have a taste. Oh, wow. Mm. It's definitely way more filled than any other doner wrap that we've ever had. Look how much meat is in there. Look how much Adana wrap is in there. And you got the vegetables, the onion, and the pepper and the tomato in there as well. So there's actually a lot of flavor in the wrap. Mm. It's kind of like what the mixed platter was all inside the wrap. It's a good size too. I mean, it was almost a foot long. And I mean, it might look thin, but and they used two two flatbread pieces, so it's actually pretty pretty large. Oh man, that looks good. Can I get a bite? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That's delicious. For 30 lira, which is just over four dollars Canadian, I'd say this is a steal for the amount of meat that you get in there. At the end of the meal, it's uh, a little overboard, but it's definitely worth trying. And I mean, even if you come by and just get this, you don't need the mixed platter. So I think this was a good decision. Oh, all of that was so delicious. The wrap was definitely not needed after that mixed platter, but I have no regrets because the wrap was delicious. Everything was about 155 Turkish Lira, which is less than $20 Canadian, $25 Canadian, so really it's such a good deal. 
I think we'll definitely have to come back here before our stay in Istanbul ends and get another mixed platter with a dirtum as well. I think Anthony Bourdain's video definitely lived up to the expectations of this place and can't wait to come back. All right, so we just finished eating those delicious kebabs. We had our salty, so now we're going through our next stop, which is to get some sweet. It's a famous dessert place that we've heard a lot about. They specialize in profiterol, so we're gonna go get some. Next stop, Dessert Town. Okay, so we're here now at Inji Pastanasi, which hopefully I pronounced right. Uh, it's super busy in here. And so we're gonna be trying some of their famous profiteroles. So instead of, oh, here they are now. So instead of just your typical profiterole with some chocolate sauce on top, they have a whole mound of them, which they take a big scoop out of and then pour the sauce all on top. So this is how you get it. So let's take a taste and see how it is. Oh my gosh. This could be very messy. Mm. Mm. Wow. That is so rich. That is really, really good. Let's try and see if we can get in here a bit better. As you can see, we've got the pastry, it's super creamy, super chocolatey. Yeah, that is really good. Wow. I guess that's really rich. Oh my gosh, there's so much chocolate on it. But really, really good. So for this one portion here, it is 20 Turkish Lira, which is just less than $3. So it's a really, really good deal for this really big pile of dessert. <laughs> I think our sweet tooth will definitely be satisfied after this. So we got chatting with one of the um, people working at the restaurants across the street actually and he was saying that this place has been going for over a hundred years. Uh, the original guy who started it, obviously not around anymore, but it's just been taken on ever since and it's such a popular place with uh, locals, tourists alike. So definitely, definitely something to try. So let's just cut into this a bit see what it looks like. Oh yeah. So you can see all of like the creamy custard in there. Chocolate. Really good combination, especially with a Turkish tea. Quite the rich evening treat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all the views and support, and we can't wait to share our next food adventure with you. Catch you next time.